If your dog struggles with resource guarding, this game is going to be a life changer. Um, with this game, we are going to kind of go over how to get our dogs to walk away from that prized object that they think is the most important thing of life and that they need to guard. Um, we are going to go over a concept called disengagement. And this game is actually called the disengagement pattern or the disengagement game. What disengagement means is it's really just developing the habit of being able to walk away from things that may be important, interesting, or even possibly valuable. And when we see resource guarding in dogs, it's typically because they struggle with that habit. It's not one of their, um, one of their strengths, let's just say. So we use this game, the disengagement game, to with varying levels to work on those resource guarding struggles and i'm gonna go through each of those levels with you but i want you guys to be able to just practice this game whenever and wherever um, you can just to get the game mechanics down so that you know what to do and how the game works this is a really great game just for pretty much anything that your dog struggles to um, to walk away from or disengage from. You'll hear me say disengage a lot. And all it is, like I said earlier, all disengaging is, is being able to walk away from something somewhat valuable. All right, so I have Apollo today. He decided that he was going to um, sit on his bed, but I promise I do have a dog. And um, I am going to go through kind of um, the steps that we are going to do for this disengagement game. And then I'll bring Apollo um, out and we will go through it together with a dog. So step zero really is to throw a treat out away from the dog to nothing. We're not working with um, any type of object right now, just out away from you when the dog turns around looks at you and goes oh my god that was a good thing you're going to mark that with your our marker word which is a yes if you don't have a marker word already then i will have a video pop up um, for how to teach that marker word but so our we throw a treat out our dog is going to go get it they're going to turn around and look at us and be like that was awesome can i have another and we're going to mark that with our yes and then as they come towards us, we are going to feed them multiple times walking away from where we just threw that treat. So if I throw my treat towards you, then I am going to reward my dog by walking away and treating multiple times. I use this, just three. It just It's easy for me to remember and it's boom, one, two, three, and then we can go again. Um, this way our dog our dogs are always trying to find what's in it for them what's the best deal for them and in this situation the best deal is walking away so they're only getting one treat towards whatever wherever you're throwing it away from you and then they're getting three treats with you walking away three is always going to be better than one so um, I have one of my dogs who has practiced this game so much that when I throw that one piece out, he just sits there and looks at me and is like, why would I go for that treat? I didn't pick him to demo for you guys today because I want you to see um, the full range and what's most likely going to happen with you and your dogs. But um, he has gotten to the point where he's like, I don't even want the thing out there because I know you have a better deal which is ultimately the goal in so many aspects of living with dogs. All right, enough talk, Apollo. Yes. All right, so I'm going to throw one tree out, just away. Yes. And then we don't have much room to walk, so I'm just gonna take small steps and reward three times walking away, four times walking away. And then I am going to repeat this treat's pretty big. So let me break it in half. And then you can take that one. 
and then again, one, two, three. And then again, if you don't catch it first, one, two, three. He's gonna try and catch it, so I'm gonna restrain him a little bit. That broke in half, so he got two treats there, so I'm gonna give him more than just three for that. Good buddy. I'm going to offer a little bit of a restraint again. Throw one out. Yes, one two, three. Be prepared for your hands to be very slobbery with this game. Have a towel or access to a sink pretty close to you for it. All right, so we're gonna restrain. Yes. My yes was really delayed there, so make sure as they turn toward you, you're marking that with your yes. I know. Yes. One, two, and three. Oh, sorry. He did. And then let's do one more. Yes. One, two, three. All right, guys, that is our game today, our disengagement game. We're going to be progressing this so that we're throwing um, our treat towards different objects, varying objects, and we'll kind of, I'll explain more in those videos, but we're gonna dive more into the resource guarding aspects of things so that you guys can kind of start to work through this on your own. If you need any help or anything, by all means, um, message me on Facebook, Instagram, um, I am here for you guys or drop a comment and I will be here for you guys to offer more help. Have a great day, guys. Keep on training.